hello for everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm having a um another car bang and i'm having fish and chips guys i'll show you what i have and i was number 77 today <laughs> it's good they give you the numbers so you know there's no pushing in and stuff so i got myself a uh, tartia sauce as well Okay, lovelies, I have a Caesar salad and a crumb fish and chips. Yeah, so I just do a prayer, guys, and then we'll eat. <laughs> so run and give you guys something to eat. Okay, guys, this food is from Homer's here in Emerton. Um, I like their batter because it's nice and crunchy. And they give a decent amount of um, Caesar salad too. So here goes. So I'm gonna open up the tartia sauce. Oh, not bad. I like tartia sauce that um like sweet. And I've got um, some spaghetti bolognese as well. That's to take home because I want to take something home for my mama. But I got enough for everyone, so you know. Yeah. So hang on guys. I just squeeze this um lemon all over. Everything. Anyway, but first of all, take a bite of this chicken um that's in the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. mm. A fish. I come in a pack um, with the old, um, it's a pub car pack, but no one's going to the pub, so it's available for me. Mm. I just dip it in the tart here. Have a bite, guys. The Caesar salad. Ah, uh, rude. Oh, look at them going past with their rabbitos, um, um, flags. I should have worn my Panthers, um, jacket today. <laughs> I'm a Penrith supporter, guys. So Rabbitohs made a best team win. <coughs> the reason why I go for the Penrith Panther guys, because um, when we moved here in 1991, we lived in Penrith and their team won, right? And it was a great celebration that time. And I'm not even a footy person, but... I support Panthers. And then all I can say is may the best team win. <laughs> Panthers. Mm -mm. The other day, my daughter went to take my son to work and they come up to the roundabout near Emerton. And everyone was circling the, the roundabout, tooting their horn and support of the motorbike. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, I had to find another one. Oh, 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 o
เออเออไอ้เดี๋ยวไปเลสไซรีกอนยังไงอะไรเนี่ยแกอาจจะฟังจอยเฟสเลสจะมาแล้วไปกันนี่นะจะปีปีปีปีปีปีปีปีอืมอืมอะไรที่เราบอกจะหนุนวันนี้ได้สมเอร์นะไม่ได้อะไรเอียร์ในที่นี้ not the noise out there Anyway, so everyone was surrounding the um the house of um not the house but around around about because there's a player that um that's in Penrith and he stays in um here in Edmonton. So of course, the locals in Mountie County went to show their support. For a Penrith player that lives in Mountain County, and they had the um, one four song, using the one four song on TikTok. <laughs> the fish that I'm eating, guys. It's a New Zealand hook, you see. No, I reckon it's good. They're there buying New Zealand fish and making it, you know, for us to eat. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they uh, forgot to put salt on the fish, but it's all right, you know. You can't. You gotta try and not eat too much salt. <laughs> That's what my doctor said. <laughs> so, hi, Miss. Thank you for looking after me. I'll get some tart here, put it over here. I need to bring a, a clean tea towel from home. Because sometimes um, they forget to put... Um, well, I don't know how they can forget. But like if you're going to get cutleries for your customers, grab a serviette or two, you know, a tissue. Should just come and uh, inhabit. So I thought I'd take a tea towel just in case I forget, and sure enough. Hi, man, better watch it, okay? Mm -hmm. mm, well, they make beautiful fish and chips, though. So good on you, hi, man. It's good too because they use the, the um in the um in the takeaway they sell uh, cooked chicken. So I guess when they're not using their um when they don't sell their cooked chicken, they put it in the Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys for um supporting my channel. Mm -hmm. Thank you for hanging out with me. Mm. Comment down below what team you guys are going for. Penrith or Rabbitoh? By the time I upload this video, the game is probably already done. Yeah, I think so. But still, snitch on yourself and, <laughs> and tell me what team you're in. Not in. 
back support. All right, all right. Mm. They just do it on purpose so I can dance, right, guys? Well, if I never have in my lair, I'd get it. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at this nice chicken. I was gonna ask for a steak and egg burger because they let, they make a beautiful steak and egg burger here at Homer's. But I thought, no, nah, stick with the fish and chips. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think when you do a mukbang or a car bang, it's best to go and get the food that you're in the mood to eat because then you're going to enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They give a generous piece of fish. Not like in New Zealand though, eh? They give the little bits, the little smaller fish. But I'd rather have the smaller fish. I mean, fish they make better. They make their better fish. Hey, um, Some fish and chip shops, you go to them to buy your fish and chips and it's already been battered sitting there. Um, you don't know how long it's been battered for, but these guys, they make it on the spot. Mm -mm. Yeah. The New Zealand hockey fish, you have to ask them, and they'll make it for you. You have another one, guys. There's lettuce, fish, and chips. Mm -mm. I didn't know there was a car behind me. <laughs> See, it's handy to put a bit of touch here on the side so you can sweep it up. I left um, my husband and my mom at home. Um, they were watching a movie, a very interesting movie with my other husband, um, Jason Momoa, in it. And the movie is called Sweet Girl. Yeah, and I thought I'd better sneak out while they're enjoying the movie. My husband reckons he's going to cook today. This is Sunday today, guys. He usually has um, OT overtime, but they don't need him today. It's so rude to have dinner <laughs> because... A Sunday for my husband is three hundred dollars. Mhm. Mm I went to take my my son to his job that he just started. He's only been there like what three weeks now. And um, usually I I drop him at the spot that I normally drop him at in the car park. But this yesterday he said to me, "Oh, mum, go to the next." aisle of the car park and I thought okay I will anyway as I was uh, going along um, I saw some Polynesian you know people like you know like three girls and a couple of guys and they were all laughing and talking and as I got closer a couple of girls looked over at me and I thought oh, okay I better drive a bit faster, <laughs> but I didn't. But anyway, so someone um, contacted me on TikTok and said, oh, I saw you today at my work, you know. I thought, oh, how? See, I was right. I thought, oh, someone's recognized me. Run! <laughs> and then the person that um, contacted me, Asked me if my son was a loader, 
And I thought, freeloader, yep. <laughs> no. My son's not a freeloader and he's working now. <laughs> yeah, so she asked me if he was a loader. I don't know what that means. So I thought, a loader, that, yeah, my son does get stuff off the shelves and, and yeah, puts it on the pallet. So, yeah, that's loading. So I said, yeah, he's a loader. Because <laughs> I said to the girl, no, he hasn't been there that long, like three weeks. And then when I said, yeah, he's a loader. And she said, oh, no, nah, that means he, if he's just started, he's not a loader. I thought, ah, over little for your buckle, over little for your buckle. <laughs> I didn't know. I know, pick and pack, but not loader. Anyway, so she said what she said, and I just said, oh, because <laughs> I wanted to go and ask my son, what is he, you know? But he's asleep for work because he's got work again today. You know, my poor son. See, that's the thing about some, some people that start work, um, work late, eh? Like, my, my husband will nag on and on and on to my poor son. And then I'll say to him, just leave him. You don't know, you know, because he goes, oh, he's so useless, you know. All he does is stay in the room and play his game and blah, blah, blah. I think, pick up my son. Anyway, but my son, without us knowing, he's been applying for jobs after jobs after jobs and not getting any, you know, answers or any interviews. So, you know, praise the good Lord that uh, my oldest son got him in and got him a job. So, but now, this boy just wants to work, 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 work all the time. And now my husband, he sings a different tune. He's going, hello, son. Hi, son. How was work today, son? How's son? And I think, look at him. Now, oh, son, son. But then again, he reminds me of my dad, guys. My dad doesn't like people that doesn't, doesn't work, you know. I don't think he doesn't, it's not that he doesn't like them, it's don't like that people don't have the work ethic that he likes, you know, that's it, yeah, Cause my dad, he, he doesn't, you know, thing people, it's just the work ethic, that's why anytime we brought our partners home, my dad always used to say, does he work? <laughs> I've ever only brought two partners home. And that was one guy. I oh, know, actually, it's free. <laughs> that's my Cook Island one and my Samoan one, and back to the Cook Island, and that's the one I married. <laughs> anyway, my mom got to interview my Cook Island one. So, <laughs> woo! So, when I got older, I started hanging around my boyfriend's house, and one time he said to me, um, let's go for a ride. Well, let's go to the beach. And I said, oh, I don't have any clothes, you know, for the beach. So I said, well, let's go to my house and get some clothes. But I didn't know my mum was home. So I said to my boyfriend, come inside. We'll go inside and I'll get my clothes and you go and have a drink of water or something. Cause I don't think we got any nice drinks in our fridge. Because usually back then, we only have shopping like... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come Monday, Tuesday, yeah, well, wang au umbale mea, wang au le, wang umbale mea, ayo le vayaso. Anyway, so when we got in there, my mum, she was home, and I thought, oh, hold the brakes. But I guess my mum is more lenient in that way. Otherwise, my dad, he would have been giving like those side evils. But yeah. So, and um, so I thought, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get my clothes and pack it up and my towel, roll it in the bag, and I'll leave my boyfriend in the sitting room. Anyway, when I got to the sitting room, my mum goes, Zoe. So she's calling me to go into the sitting room. So I walk in there, and then um, she goes, sit down. And I thought, Serious? So I sat down and um, <laughs> when I looked over at my boyfriend's face, he was like, <laughs> my mom interviewed 
my boyfriend. And then um so she goes And I go, she's asking what's gonna happen with us and I go I know what she's asking, but I'm just a little girl. Little girl up there, oh, me a serious, or me a macaroni, this is not a little girl. I thought that might be my husband's car over there. So I go, let her wing a little color, you know. She goes, oh, Lua, and what fight for you for Pele? And I went, we, there, I live fight for you my world of boyfriend, and me. And she goes, I want to go for Paul, yeah. And I go, eh. Yeah, well, well, it's only a teenager, a little while, so I can make a mokua, you know. And she goes, yeah, but I, 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 so he, he gets his keys and he goes, what, I'll meet you in the car? And I think, why can't I run first? <laughs> so I go, yeah, okay, meet you in the car. And then he walks off. And then my mum goes, eh, shh. Find out boyfriend and go on to a mofo, eh? Go on to a fai po ipo. And I thought, look at that, trying to get rid of me. Trying to get me married off so I can, you know, not be a burden to her budget. <laughs> But I have my own money. Oh, don't be like that to me, Mama Bear. Anyway, so I got my bag and we, you know, ran in the car. As we were driving off, my boyfriend started mocking my mum's English. He better watch it. <laughs> so I go, what did my mum say? And she said, and he goes, your mum says to me, are you married for my daughter? You married for my daughter? <laughs> oh, poor. oh, poor guy. Oh, spider! Spider. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. You hear that punch? Mm. So, yeah, that's what you, she was saying. You marry for my daughter? You marry for her? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, every now and then, my boyfriend at the time, he would mock me with that. So that evening, you know, it was me him and his dad and um because that time his mum started going to church so she didn't really like us drinking but the dad was cool you know oh and the mum too i love i love my mom and lord that time uh, then my boyfriend at the time goes ah you marry for my daughter you marry for... and i go listen here don't get cheeky because when this daughter wants to walk off and leave you then you cry your eyes mm. And yeah, oh, you get out. Oh. A fly just walked in here, invited itself to dinner. Ah! Get out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably coming back on the And then the, the other, the other boyfriend was, um, a Samoan. Yeah, he got to meet my brother and my auntie. But he was a son of a pastor. And yeah, I had to call that off too because, um, you know, there's things they expect of you if you're going to be a wife of a, you know, a pastor's son. So, um, hey. At least I, um, you know, like, let him know in the beginning stages of our relationship because it wouldn't be fair on him 
if I stuck around and, you know, and, you know, like, yeah, it just wasn't fair. But anyway, now, um, the one that I'm with now, the headache, Tangoroa, Tang, he's got so many names, Tangoroa, Tang, Tangaroi, um, Alvis, oh uh, yeah, I just told you guys that before, eh? <laughs> yeah, so, that's the other one that I took home, and he first met my dad, and you know what's funny? We we took a whole a whole lamb that day when when I went to take my husband now <laughs> to meet my family. My mum wasn't there. She wasn't home. But we took a whole lamb and my my dad of course asked, Where you work? <laughs> Over the years uh, my dad and my uh, husband became like my husband said it, not my dad, but my husband. He said, "You know, Philly is like my best friend." I thought, "What friend? You don't even have friends." Nah. Yeah, I've never know known my husband to have like friend friends. Only people he just talks to. Yeah. I guess that's why he he got my dad. <laughs> But I've never known him to have a friend, friend. He did say, he used to say with the Samoan family. And him and his mate used to stay in their shed. And they used to train together, like, um, at the gym and everything. And they worked together. And he said that he was a really nice boy, a really Christian uh, boy. And he said his sisters always used to try and, you know, the whole family was really good to um, Tangaroa. That's good. And then, um, yeah, they were all good to him. And then he said that he um, he met up with his um, first cousin, um, Andrew Cecil. So he met up with him and he said, oh, where are you staying? And he, and Tangaro said, oh, I'm staying with the Samoan family. And he said, give me, this, give me that address, I'll come and get you. You know, you come and stay with family. But deep down, my husband didn't want to leave, he said. He said he was happy there, you know. These people treated him so well. They were like his family as well. But when Andrew turned up to take him, he thanked the family and then he left. Yeah. It's good when you part, part ways from where you stay on a good note. I know of people that um that stay with other people and when they leave, like they leave in a in a bad way. I think in the best way, make sure your board or your rent or whatever is paid up to date. Thank them for the opportunity of looking after you giving a roof over your head and then leave so no matter what they say behind your back <laughs> you've done the right thing you know what I mean they can never turn around and say nah you know they they stayed here and they took off and they pay, they didn't pay their stuff properly they can never say that so that's why you always clear your path so should anyone say anything against you it's not true and you stick to your guns. Just treat people like good. I always tell my kids that. Treat people good and then, you know, when you meet them again, they'll remember you for you being a good person. I was telling that to my son when I, when I got him from work a couple of days ago. But that rude fly, eh? Like, I didn't even send out any invitations. And he just turns up. Hmm. I'm really lucky I didn't have my fly spray. <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna close this up now. I can't believe I didn't have a drink. My drink today is mango 
tea. Cheers, guys. It's good, you. Uh, it's good, you too. So rude. So rude. Their fish and chips was lovely. Oh my gosh, I am superwoman. I went to all me this down, I closed it and it popped. Oh. <laughs> that first time it happened like that. There must be all these people over here stretching me now. <laughs> and you know what? I'll put it in here. So if there's any dribble, it's safe and sound. Then I'll put it back in the plastic bag. And then I go, yep, I'll tell you, thank you very much, thanks for coming. Yeah, bye. Yep. I got, I got a spaghetti bolognese too for my son's uh, lunch. Yeah, so the deal with my son, he fills my car with the petrol. Because after all, I hardly go anywhere in my car. So the deal is petrol his board and giving his mama 50 bucks every week you know why guys because when he wasn't working i was paying for everything and some of the things he would ask for they were cheap but i always said to him son i'll do this for you but when you work you pay your mama back he said oh yeah so holding him up on his words when he says something, he has to do it. Unless it's dangerous, don't. That was a lovely fish and chips. Thank you very much, homers. Two thumbs up for you. It's a Sunday today, guys. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Blessed day, that is. And I hope everything is well in your family. The lockdown I hear is unwinding. So, we just got to be patient. Take care of one another. We are mask. That I'm still not taking it just yet. Mm -mm -mm. See how I'm wearing yellow? Because I thought it's a lovely day today here in, in Sydney. So I wear the colour to suit the day. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So my sister rings up the other day and she goes, "Sis, have you taken Mum to?" And I go. Nah. And she goes, why? And I go, nah. And she goes, oh, you can't keep mum locked up. And I thought, oh, yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I'd rather protect my mama, keep her home, safe from any harm out there. Anyway, so I saw this man said that the that the biggest legal fuck there is out there is the M E D I A. And and then he said they can make a guilty look innocent and an innocent look guilty just by chucking out whatever they want on their news feed, on the news, whatever. And a lot of people go with the flow. They'll go with what they hear. But sometimes, like they say, look, listen, think about it. Not just hear and go, oh, okay. So, um, 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 nah. so, I'm waiting till I hear, yeah, it's pretty safe. Though. And then I'll, me and my mama will go. And get it done. That's an Uber driver just... Uh, do you know a lot of Uber drivers must know our address, eh? Because I always come and drop off my kids' food. I thought that was my husband's car. But no. Okay, guys, last goodbye. For reals. For real, for real. <laughs> I see people say that. For real, for real. 
And I go, why, well, wasn't the first time real? <laughs> Woohoo! Go the Panthers! Go the Panthers! Do, do. Go the Panthers! Do, do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, man's gonna like, look at me and go, is she alright? Yes, I am. Don't make me come out there and do a TikTok with you. Mm. Bye, guys. You guys have been a lovely, lovely audience. God bless.